guys, it's Sarah, and today we are going to check in on my goals, see how it's going. We are finally in the last quarter of the year, so I'm going to see how I have done for the past three quarters. So this will be my quarter three goal check-in. I check in with my reading journal and see what my goals were, what I set, how I'm doing on them, kind of update that. What would I like to focus on for the rest of the year? Are there any that I could maybe try to really hone in on and try to finish before the end of the year? So let's um, let's just see. I will do a final flip through of this journal in December, so no worries on that. But for now, let's see. Okay, so goals, I have eight of them. The first one is my Goodreads goal is 80 books. As of right now, currently, I have, I'm two books ahead of schedule. I know that. Let me see what my final, what my actual number is. Um, as far as how many books I have read so far. And that's as of when I'm filming this video. <laughs> um, let's see. So currently I have read 62. Uh, so no worries at all about reaching 80 books. I believe that I will do that. Um, and right now I'm two books ahead of schedule. So that's great. So, okay. <laughs> Number two, read my Mina Lima Harry Potter books. I've not done that. Um, I started the first one, I think I read a chapter, and then I put it down, and I have not picked it up since, and that was over a month ago. You guys, it just hasn't been a priority. Um, I do want to read them, and it. I ended up picking it up because I did see <laughs> the announcement that there are not going to be any more Mina Lima books. Um they have not been commissioned to do the rest of the series, which makes me very sad because I wanted the entire series in these <laughs> editions. Um, so I was like, oh, well, then I definitely need to read them, you know, because uh, I just recently heard about that. And that was one of my goals anyway. And then I was like, I don't know. I just, I guess maybe now that I know this is it, I don't feel a rush. That's probably what it is because I was like going to be gearing up to get the next book, but that's not going to be an option now. So not sure if I'm going to be able to make that one work or if I end up prioritizing that one. If I don't, it's fine. They're not going anywhere. I'll get to them when I get to them. So it's totally fine. Um, so it just has, that one hasn't been a priority for me. Okay. Three, read my most anticipated releases. I've read some. Um, I started out really, really strong, really, really strong. I don't know that I'm doing so great on that anymore, to be honest. Let me find my most anticipated. I haven't written in my fall ones yet. I know I haven't read any um, for my fall ones. I haven't read any uh, brand new releases yet since um, that video went up. Okay, so for the summer I had, I had six and I've read three of them. So there's that. For spring, I had eight and I only read two. And then for winter, I had nine and I read six of them. So that's, that's pretty good. Actually, technically eight because one of them didn't end up coming out. The Bride Bet by Tessa Dare. That one didn't get released. So technically eight and I read six. So that's really good. I did really good on my winter ones, like I said. <laughs> Spring, not so much. Summer was a little bit better. I read half of them. And then fall so far, um, I haven't read any yet. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I can do. Okay, uh, number four is read some of my favorite authors to zero. I have actually done pretty good at this. Let me find my page here. Okay, authors that I have read to zero. I have read Alex Michaelides, Stacey Willingham, TJ Newman, Abby Jimenez, S.A. Cosby, Sarah J. Mass, Taylor Jenkins Reid, and Ashley Winstead. So eight authors. I read enough, or I read what I still needed to read in order to get those read to zero. Some of them were multiple. Some of them were just one. Alex McLeodes was just his new release. Stacey Willingham was just her new release. TJ Newman was two. Abby Jimenez was four, including a short story. S.A. Cosby was two. Sarah J. Mass was two. Taylor Jenkins Reid was two. And Ashley Winstead was two. So um, yeah, I might be able to knock out a couple more of these before the end of the year. I have some loose plans for a couple of these books already anyway. So if I could add a couple more on there, that would be great. But so far I've done really good. <laughs> so I'm pretty proud of that one. 
Okay, uh, number five, read 10 nonfiction books. Nope. I know for a fact I have not read very many nonfiction. I think I've only read four. Let me double check. Yeah, I've read four. I've read four. Um, maybe I could get another couple on here. That is definitely a possibility. I don't think I will get six, though, <laughs> before the end of the year. I really just don't anticipate that happening. But I have read four. Okay, number six is finish or catch up on some series. Um, I want to say my series. Okay. Okay, I have I have some. I have six. Okay. So um, the Crescent City series by Sarah J. Mass. I read House of Flame and Shadow. So that's one. Coyote Sunrise. I read the newer, the new release this year. Uh, the Gunkle. I read The Gunkle Abroad. Uh, the Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez. I had two of those to read and I read those. Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. I read Just for the Summer. And then uh, the Fool Me Once series by Ashley Winstead. I read both of those. It was uh, just a duology. And I don't think there's plans for that one to move forward. So yeah, so six series I have um, caught up or completed. So that's pretty good. And then I do have some series that I have started, um, but I haven't completed or continued on yet. So we'll see how the rest of that goes. Um, if I do finish any, then I can add them on here. But um, yeah, so six, that's not too bad. Um, okay, and then the last two are more kind of channel based. But um, one is post more often on Instagram. That's up and down. <laughs> if I'm really good and I plan ahead, then it's great. But I have to make the time to plan ahead. I'm not good at doing it in the moment. Um, if I can plan ahead and schedule them, which I do have the ability to do, then my Instagram's much stronger. I do my Sunday night or my Sunday posts all the time about what's on my nightstand, what I'm planning to read that week. But everything else is a little bit up in the air. So that's something I still need to kind of work on a little bit. And then the last one is do more reading vlogs, which I have been doing. I've been doing some collaborations, which has been a lot of fun. Um, I have some ongoing ones that you guys don't even know about yet. Mm, you'll see that before too long. Um, and then, you know, like the Roll Your Next Read vlogs and the device vlogs have been going up and I'm about to start another round of those. Um, so I've been doing some more reading vlogs, which I've been really enjoying. Yeah, and that's it for my official goals. So um, I'm just not sure if I'm going to worry about the Harry Potter one this year. I think, you know, just getting the news that it's not going to be continuing is kind of taking the wind out of my sails on that one, which is fine. Like just next time I reread them, that's what I'll reread. And I definitely could try to fit a couple more nonfiction in there <laughs> if I can. Um, and then, you know, Instagram, just making some time. That's that's just a time thing for me. But yeah, there are quite a few things that I have been pretty good on. And yeah, so I'm not, I'm not mad about it. So I could definitely work a little bit more on my most anticipated books and try to get some, some more of those read and um, possibly getting some more series finished slash, you know, authors read to zero because there's a few things that I only have one more book to read and maybe I could start kind of pushing those up the TBR. That would be kind of nice to help me get a little bit closer to some of those goals. But yeah, so that's how I'm doing. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> Actually, I feel pretty good about how I'm doing with my goals. So do you guys make goals? If you do, how often do you check in and how are your goals going for this year? Let me know. And I will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a good day. Bye. Thank you.